god, what the hell? There's so many things. No. <laughs> So here we are in the rain. I was literally about to record and then it just starts raining. So we're just going to have to deal with it. It doesn't actually look too bad on this map though, to be honest. So today what I want to do is a couple things. First of all, what I really need to do is go over to the swamp and find this place where I can find the gems. And now that I have my dude right here and he's, he's relatively fast, it's not amazing. This thing is hopefully going to help me manage to actually get to those gems and back safely. That is a car note. That is terrifying. It's like really nice colors as well let's see oh yeah oh it's a terrible level but like really really nice colors okay oh my god why is there all these bad things freaking t-rex there with also amazing colors what level okay also terrible why are they all like level 114 okay let's just keep running so um yeah i, I basically need to go to the swamp we need to find the area with the uh with the blue tree and then i can hopefully manage to get some gems from there and um that's gonna allow me to make a couple things first of all glide suit hopefully if there's blue gems but if there's not and there's green gems then we can be able to make some glow sticks and then also uh what is it called the climbing picks as well i'm really in need of those those would be amazing and we can make re the reusable versions as well so we'll have like unlimited glow sticks and uh unlimited climbing pick this is a bad idea going through this way i'm gonna go around a little bit more um i've heard that it's like further over in the direction that i was kind of at in the last episode uh, so hopefully we can manage to get over there. Is that an egg? What is that? Oh, it is an egg. Was that a dillo egg? I think we're good. Oh my god, why is it so framey around here, by the way? Dude, I feel like there's so many hidden caves or something. Because, like, I I've got a really good... I'm not... By the way, I'm not I'm not bragging. I've just... I'm just stating a fact. I've got a really good computer, and for the most part, I don't really stutter like that too much. But, uh, when it is happening, it's usually a good tell that there's, like, a cave nearby. So, yeah. Either that or maybe my computer's dying. Who knows? Uh, it did have a leak the other day in the water cooling, but we're all good. Uh, nothing got damaged. Just uh, a bunch of it spilled out the bottom, and, and that's all good. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically, yeah, we, we, we got to find this spot. I think we're kind of getting somewhat kind of close to where we were in the last episode. Um, I did actually enjoy some of the comments from the last episode as well, because I went off and I basically explained why I'm not taming a flyer and this and that. And, and uh, one comment that I really liked was something along the lines of, like, Syntac, uh, like, tames a bird, doesn't fly, you know? <laughs> just, it was great. Oh, my God. Oh, that thing's beautiful. Oh, I really want that one, the green one. That looks amazing looking, but we're not going to bother right now. Um, also, kind of a bad idea to do without the actual kibbles, so we're just going to ignore it. But that thing is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, we, we, we got to get over here. I did also name this guy, by the way. I, I got quite a few people sa saying that I should name it Moana, so I did. Um, and you know, eventually when I can manage to get a new one, I will call it Jason and he'll be my MOA. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get that eventually. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get further over in this direction. So it is down in the swamp from my understanding. So we probably do need to drop down at some point, but for the moment, I think I'm just going to like hug this cliff here because at least if I'm getting chased by something, I have somewhere to escape to, which is down the cliff. And if I go down there, then I'm just kind of stuck. So let's just see. I mean, like, we might be able to just find it here, or maybe I'll have to, like, take a little cut and, and search the area extensively. I don't really know. I mean, I was told it was, like, further off in the in this kind of direction here. At least, I think I understood what that meant. Uh, there's was a really cool-looking swamp trees over there. All right, let's just keep going in this direction anyway. By the way, guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help me out. I do appreciate it and everything. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a temple, I think, or something. What is this? That is awesome looking. Whoa. It's like a giant statue with like a Rex uh, skull as like the head. Ooh, are those plant species X? You know what? We might as well grab some. Let's, uh, I think you can use a sickle for these, right? Ooh, accidentally hit the button and then it went away. Uh, here we go. Yeah, you can use the sickle for them. Sweet. All right. That's more than enough. Like, I'm not going to need probably even more than five. Um, all right, cool. That's awesome. We can use those to protect our base. Honestly, we're probably going to need to do that eventually. Um, just to kind of actually stay safe from all of the, uh, the blood moons that will eventually start happening. Is there any more to this temple or is that it? Is that like the only bit? Any more up here? No, I think that's about it. All right. Maybe there's some further down. I don't even know. Like, are we at the right spot? Is this where the gems are maybe there's supposed to be like a blue tree i don't see any blue trees hmm yeah i don't see any down there i assume it's gonna kind of look like the aberration trees maybe let's keep going off in this direction here then all right well hopefully we can find it um 
another thing that I want to actually do here today is work a little bit more on our uh, kibble farm. I do eventually want to try to... What the hell am I looking at here? Why does it look like that? It looks very strange, that cliff. I thought that that was like some sort of weird temple or something. But yeah, I do eventually want to have like the whole kibble farm set up. So we're going to have like uh, creatures for every tier. And uh, we'll do that whole thing. Get that all set up hopefully soon. Another thing that I want to actually do soon as well. Jim and I were talking about it. We're probably going to build up top where, our, where we're living right now. Like that giant flat spot. So um, hopefully we can do that. Uh, oh, we got another temple or something here. Hopefully we can do that maybe this weekend together. Possibly. We'll see. Um, all right. Let's see. Is this it? Is this all? I think this might be it. Is there anything down here maybe? Dude, like we, we got to be able to find some stuff here. Uh, nope, nothing down there. All right, cool. I keep forgetting that I can do that like crazy zoom uh, using like a macro on my mouse. I, I basically have like a scrolling macro. <laughs> it's so cool. All right. Is this it? Like, where the hell is all the gems, man? Am I like in the wrong spot or something? Is, is it not around here? Is it further down off in the other direction? I have no idea. What level is the snail? Uh, 66, okay. We could tame that if I had veggie cakes, which I do not. I don't even know why I'm checking him. I think we've kind of come to the end of the swamp here, to be honest. Yeah, this looks like it. All right, so we got to go into the swamp and, and search around then a little bit. Oh, I see blue. I see blue. I saw, I think. Yeah, there's some blue. <gasps> this could be it. Please tell me this is it. I really want it to be it. What is this? Is this like more runes or something? Or, oh, it's just a weird looking log. Ooh, it leads all the way up to the top. That's, oh wait, no, no, it doesn't. It leads into cliff or something. All right, cool. We found the blue tree. It's not entirely blue. It's just a little blue, but it's a blue tree. Um, I don't have a GPS. Here we are. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I gotta be super cautious here because there could be capros or something. Is this it? Oh, oh, okay. It goes all the way in. Can I, is this not MOA accessible? Oh no, it is. Okay, we're good. All right, we gotta be super cautious here because again, do not want to die. Uh. A little bit laggy. We're loading it all in. Okay, I think we're in. We're in. We did it. All right, I'm going to go gamma three. So it's a little bit brighter, but it's not too, too bright. Cool. All right. Um, This looks insane looking. Whoa. What the hell? Welcome to the aberration of water. Hmm. It's like, I don't know. I'm getting like weird avatar vibes from that. Yeah. <laughs> Like the aberration of water. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good feather light, actually. If I can manage to find some, um, what are they called? Plant species Z, right? If I can find some of those, we could probably tame one. Ooh, there's two of them. Oh, I could get one for me and one for Jim. Yes. Oh, they're everywhere. Dude, they're like, there's so many of them. Uh, okay, hang on. They're really hard to, okay. It's also really laggy down here. I think I'm loading the surface a little bit still. Let's see, you are 156. Dude, they're all super high level. Okay, never mind. <laughs> all super high level, and then a 66. Great, thank you. That's cool looking bamboo. All right, well, um, I see some blue gems. Let's grab those. Let's go grab those real quick. Hopefully, I can do it anyway without dying somehow. Uh, oh, you know what? Jim sent me, well, Jim didn't send me. Jim gave me some really nice gifts uh, in the last episode. You know, he, he, he started off I guess I start off my video with this in my inventory, which is a very, very nice pike. So I think that we need to one-up him today. I'm going to give him all of the uh, the gem-related items. I'm going to get him a glide suit. We're going to get him uh, the... Hopefully, if we can find some green gems, we can get him the climbing pick and then also the glow sticks. And then anything else that I can potentially make. I mean, hell, if I can find if I can find some red gems, we'll make him some gas collectors, you know? Like, I still don't even think that's worth this pike. This pike's amazing. But you know what? We'll uh, we'll try our best to <laughs> to make it up to him. Oh my god! Let's see. Come on, give me all these gems. I'm just gonna take them all with me if I can carry them all. I'm I'm gonna be dropping the stone 100%. But I might need to also drop the crystal. No, I do not. That weighs nothing. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna drop the stone. The the gems do weigh a decent amount, but I I need those, so we can't exactly uh not bring those. Why don't I see your thing? Do I have that off? How come I can? How can I not see your uh, your name tag from that far away? I thought... Hmm, that was weird. I don't think I was that far away from you. I just quickly toggled the end button, which, you know, does this thing, uh, where it uh, basically will hide the names if you're kind of, like, a little bit close or whatever, or if you're not close enough or whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. That wasn't on. I just feel like I should have been able to see your name. Anyway, do we have any green gems down here? <laughs> <laughs> this place is uh, really cool. Is it big, though? Oh, it looks like it goes even further in here. 
let's see uh blue gems here we got some mushrooms we might need to um potentially tame up those feather lights with the mushrooms instead of going with the uh, thingies oh <gasps> we have shot oh that's a really good shine horn 168 why are they all super high level by the way like it's great and all i appreciate it but like holy crap also is it just blue gems in here no it goes further back over here okay cool oh my god this place is massive jesus dude okay um let's just let's keep going i mean i haven't run into anything bad so far i'm saying so far because it's totally gonna happen there's gonna be basilisks or something honestly i should have brought a bed with me now i'm getting really nervous uh okay let me just try and stay above a little bit what is that it's like a giant ball looks like earth maybe potentially let's have a little look honestly there could be some treasure in here and artifacts i don't actually know if this is like an artifact cave at all that's cool just like a, a giant uh thing of earth oh oh i just realized we're also gonna need some freaking fungal wood too yeah crap does this give it to me no those look like they're the things from are those from extinction those kind of look like they would be uh yeah yeah we'll, we'll hit this right here hit this for the um the fungal wood yes thank you for reminding me guys i was reading your comments <laughs> oh my god actually that kind of reminds me um like oftentimes when i do like a live stream for some people for some reason people when they're like watching it um they uh like you know when, when they're watching the vod afterwards they're like commenting saying like oh like you should do this and stuff and i feel like some of those people might think that it's still live somehow very very confusing i always get extremely confused by those comments basically is what i'm trying to get at um it, it's still kind of funny though Anyway, uh, oh, we got some green gems. Sweet. Okay, let's do this. I will drop everything that I don't need uh, just to be able to get back to base with all of this stuff. Technically, I don't need to bring that many green gems, but I'm going to bring a good amount just in case. You know, uh, we can drop the crystal. We can drop the, the stone. Even though the crystal and stone don't take up that much weight, it, it's still worth doing because I'm hardly able to move now with the fungal wood as well. So yeah, uh, let's see. Let's just break these two nodes and then we'll be good to go. Don't think we're going to find any red gems in here, but realistically, I don't really need them unless rock drakes. I don't even know if they're on this map, to be honest. Hmm. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, let me hop onto my dude. I might try to team up a feather light for me and Jim, potentially. All right. Let's see. Let's drop that. Uh, we're going to have to drop the crystal. Don't worry. We got crystal right beside the base. I'm going to be dropping that fiber, the thatch, even though it weighs like nothing. Um, what else? What else? Oh. I just realized I can free up 20 weight by just doing this because I actually meant to do this. There we go. Boom. And let me put you back away. Also, you know what? I got to keep my eyes peeled in here. What am I looking for? There it is. I got to keep my eyes peeled in here for the little plants uh, on aberration, the ones that give you organic polymer. I just realized how much meat I have. What the hell? Okay. I took that out of the campfire. I thought I put like the majority of that away, but I guess I didn't. So I have like a thousand meat on me. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so um, if I can manage to find those plants for organic polymer, then we can make a lot of useful things as well using that. Um, I could also use it as respawn candy to just get back to base real quick if I wanted to be super cheaty, but we, we won't do that. We'll uh, we'll make the journey. Um, okay, how much fungal wood do I have? 500 is enough. Okay, cool. Let's drop that. Um, I think I'm good, right? I mean, like I'm not moving that fast, but realistically, we might be able to still wing it and get back to base what do the plants that give you organic polymer look like this is not them right that is not them and that was a bad idea uh no nope. wrong inventory oh yeah, yeah you don't have anything on you that's good probably should be keeping those rare flowers to be honest i might actually do that <laughs> if we if we accidentally hit any more of those plants or whatever all right so we gotta get out of here now <laughs> should be okay i mean realistically like nothing was in here right hopefully there's still nothing Let's see. I can't remember what um, mushrooms, shine horns, and all those guys like. I think I know. Uh, uh, what are they called? Bulb dogs like these ones. I think shine horns might like the brown ones, or I I think the the like what are they called? Like the narcoe ones. I think that those ones are good for glow tails. Maybe I don't really know. Honestly, I might have to look it up real quick. Um, okay, cool. Let's see. Yeah, usually when I'm, like, taming the shoulder pets, like, for aberration, I often... Oh! I'm okay. Uh, I might be okay. 
dude. Oh yeah, I can actually. Oh, it's yeah. I just realized it's the um, which ones is it? It's it's the aquatic ones, the ones I have already dropped on the ground. Are these narco plants? Oh, <gasps> whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. Although, why am I doing that? I have so many of those back at base. I'm just getting so excited over something that I don't even need. Uh, all right, let's drop those. Let's see. What are these over here? More narco plants. Yeah, those little plants right there give just pure narco berries. They're really really cool. Um, very very useful on uh, Genesis, which is I think the map that they originated on. But, um, yeah, let's see. Let's uh, continue our way through here. Getting a little heavy right now, but we should be okay. Uh, oh, we got bulb dogs over here. Hello. Are they good levels? Let's see. Uh, okay, they're both terrible. We got, uh, what are they called? Glow tails? Ooh, 168. Hmm. Maybe I could do, like, a choose-your-own Pokemon kind of thing for Jim. Just, like, present him with four choices. Uh, real quick, let me just look up what they need. Okay, you know what? I think what I want to do is just tame the feather lights, because otherwise I'm going to be here for ages, and realistically, I still need the kibble, so we got to do that. So I was actually uh, right about some of this stuff. The shine horns like the brown ones, the glow tails like the, uh, the kind of like bluish ones, and then the feather lights like these ones. So let's get this done then. Um, I got to find them first. I saw one there a second ago. Is this one here? Hello? Are you good level? No, you're a bad level. Um, got one right there. I could actually probably grapple around to them if they're like up at the ceiling. I think this one was good level, right? You were 156, not bad. I, I guess I could get you. Just tame them all. Oh, we don't need to do that, or do we? Ah, did I get him? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just do that in, like the air. Little like flyby feeding. Eh, I got him, <laughs> amazing. All right, cool. Now we can track him, uh, boom. And let me try and get some more of these guys. We've got one right here. Not sure what level. Uh, I'm just going to feed it. No, it's a level 66. Oops. All good. Uh, we got another one there. 108. Hmm. There was like a 168, I think. Was there? Wait, is that? Okay, that's 156. That's good. Where's the other one that I was taming? I guess I should just not track that one, right? Or maybe kill it before I leave. That could be a good idea. I'm just trying to like see because there was a 160. Oh, hello, 180. Perfect. I guess I'll get you. What What are you? What are you? You're beautiful. Oh my god. Which Which one are you? Oh, was that a 102? I think it said that. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, it's a 162. Okay, perfect. Oh, is this the 180? <gasps> Let me get you. Let me get you, please. Come back. Love me. Uh, where are you? There you are. Eh. Let me feed you. I get it? Yes. Sweet. All right, we got to get that uh, 162. That's this one over here. And there you go. All right, so three of them taming up. That's pretty good. Uh, technically four, but I don't want that other one. We got two females and one male. We could probably breed them, to be honest. Yeah, we could probably do that. Let's see. What level are you? <sighs> Should I just tame them? I might as well. Let's see. Let me just quickly grab... I almost did that. <laughs> I almost did that. Are you kidding me? <sighs> All right, let me, uh, let me try and see if I can... Oh. Is there, like, anything down here? Drops? Anything? No? Okay, cool. All right. This one is tamed. Nice. I'm just going to leave you there. going to just focus on trying to get the rest of these. Okay. So we got four feather lights. Let's see. Um, I feel like the best thing to do right now is to just put them all away. Because, like, otherwise something's going to happen and we're going to lose probably all of them somehow. Um, at least, you know, I mean, putting one on my shoulder could be kind of nice, but... I think maybe having a bread one would be a little bit better to do that for. So yeah, let's uh, let's do that. I really need the um, the soul trap gun, man. Really, really need that. Okay, well that was a successful little visit to this aberration cave. Pretty cool. Um, maybe we can come back here another time if I want to tame up some more glow pets, cause like they have them all in there and it's very peaceful. Like the the one thing about trying to tame up things like that. You know, if, if there's a bunch of predators around, it's kind of awful. So that's like the perfect spot to do that at. Let's see. Gamma back down to normal. Are we safe here? Uh, we are not because there's a Sarko right there. Okay, let's uh, let's move out of the way here. Um, okay, so I think I'm just going to head straight back to base then, I think. Um, we'll get back to base with these gems. We'll drop it off. We'll craft up all the things that we need. We'll gift a gem some stuff. And then I do still want to head off and actually manage to tame up some kibble creatures. So I want to head over to the beach nearby where we're actually living. So... Let me run all the way back to base because it's going to take a little while. Ooh, blue moss chops. What do you need? 
Uh, Mejo? Okay, I can do that. All right, cool. I guess we're just taming up this moss chops real quick. They're uh, they're really good for kibble because they are superior kibble, which is the fourth tier, the purple ones. Uh, what the hell? Oh my god, dude, stop! Ow! What the hell? It's a bull! <laughs> Get away from me, dude! No! Oh my god! Oh, there we go. Okay. Pretty sure these guys give like beef or something, right? Let's see. Uh, been getting comments telling, yeah, they do get beef. Been getting comments telling me that that's basically like uh, mutton, which is pretty cool actually. It doesn't stack up obviously with the stack mod, but it stacks up to ten, which is good enough. Which basically means we have like a hundred minutes on um this little stack right here. Cool. All right. Uh, I guess we'll um we'll put that into you for the moment. Should be able to carry all this back to base. Oh no, he's been killed. Crap. Ah, damn it. All right, whatever. We're just gonna leave the moss chops then. It's fine. He's already drained. He's already ruined. In fact, you know, I'm going to have to kill him because otherwise he's going to be on the creature tracker. And I just realized, do you realize what I did wrong? I realized what I did wrong. I left those, I left those feather lights in that cave and um, I didn't kill them or anything. So that means that they're going to be on my creature tracker for a good long while because they're probably not loaded in enough to, uh, to basically, sorry, I'm just I'm getting so distracted by all this crap in my inventory. Uh, yeah, they're, they're basically gonna be sitting on the creature tracker for a while. So I'm gonna have to go back. What the? F no Oh, no, no, no. Why? No, no. Oh my god. That's the worst possible one. Oh Crap Oh, oh no, everything's alpha boosted. Oh my god. Why 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 why? Oh This is awful What the? What the hell do I do? Everything's gonna come... Dude, we're dead. This Mo is dead. There's no way. How the hell am I supposed to get away? I, I'm gonna have to drop some stuff, but I can't even stop. There's freaking Trudons after me. What the hell's that? It's a trike? Oh my god. Why? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh crap. Please let me get out of this. I need to go in this direction here. Oh my god, what is that? There's uh, something. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, we're, we're gonna lose the moa, guys. I'm just saying. Oh my god. Oh, there's there's no way. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to ditch it. I'm gonna have to ditch the moa and save myself. Like I can't kill these things. They deal double damage, and I think I deal half or something. I don't even know. Oh, think I, I think I just got away. Mm, come on, let me up. Oh, please let me up. Oh, fuck. Oh. Crap. Okay, no, no, no. I need to get up there. Um, dude, I, the freaking dimorphs are coming for me. Like everything is aggressive. I'll, I'll, I'll hit H in a second. There you go. You can read it. Um, dino acro, less XP, uh, and then double damage. So yeah, everything's terrible basically. Oh, crap. I can't even go back to base. Cause if I go back to base, every oh yeah. Okay, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is the worst. No. Oh my. What is the hell is that? It's an alpha cardo. Oh my god. So everything that can be an alpha also turns into an alpha, which is terrifying. So any cardos, raptors, rexes, anything that can turn into an alpha is the alpha variant right now. Um, these pteranodons are really messing me up here. God damn it, dude. Ugh. All right. I might try. I might be able to try and kill him. I don't know. I don't want to stop, you see. Like, because if I stop, we're going to have to... Uh, it. Oh, this is so bad. This is so, so bad. I'm going to gamma up so you guys can see better. That Stego going to come for me? No? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So it seems like maybe it's just an area of effect thing at the very start because everything here surely should be coming for me. I'm going to have to kill this dude. Boom. Didn't hit him because we were too close. That classic shotgun annoying ass bug that's been in the game for years. Wildcard, fix it. Or at least put out a new version of the game that does fix it. <laughs> oh my god all right we got him we're good um okay i don't know what to do here like i'm a, i'm gonna be honest like what that i can't go back to my base because if i do everything's gonna come for me you know that's just a bad idea i don't know if all these creatures are like gonna be aggro to me now are you aggro i mean you guys are always annoying you always want to butt uh people around i don't know oh god damn it go away those things are scaring the crap out of me. Okay. It's not super, super bad right now. Oh, I'm getting attacked by... No! Galleys are attacking me. No! 
Oh my god, it's like with the Tranodons. I feel like it's um <laughs> the scene out of what is the Jurassic World movie where there's just like tons of them flying at you. Look at this. This is so scary. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, I'm overburdened. I'm gonna drop all the beef. I don't care. I can't like I'm picking up berries here. Ah, god damn it. I don't know if I should just stop or try and get into the house over here. There's a little house not inside of my base. It's where the carrots are. I feel like if I can get to that, I'll be okay. But like, goddamn, I cannot do anything here at all. Oh my god, no! Oh crap! Okay, I'm just. Oh my god, what the hell? There's so many things! No! <laughs> Oh, why? Why? Okay, let me just... I'm gonna have to go for it. If I can get into there, we might be okay. Honestly, I kind of want to log off right now, but I won't. I won't, just because I know that would be super lame. If we lose the MOA, we lose the MOA. I, I, I'm i just saying, like, I can't, I can't even move right now. Ah! <laughs> why? They're all alpha boosted. Oh, crap. They're gonna deal even more damage now. Let me in here. Let me in here. Let me in here. Please, 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 please. Oh... Oh, he's in the house! <laughs> They're in the freaking house with me. I'm dealing no damage at all. Okay, Pike is probably better. Yeah, Pike is a little bit better. Oh my god, dude, this is terrifying. Why? Why? I knew it. I knew the blood wound would happen at the at the worst possible time. How hilarious is this? <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, are we good? All right, can we pull to make a door or something? I need a fence foundation. It needs to be stone. No, we are too far away from the base. Okay, crap. What can I make? What can I do? Because, like, I'm just a sitting duck here. Like, what the hell do I do right now? <laughs> There's just so many things outside. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just going to sit here, guys. Like, I, I, I can't really do anything. If I try to leave to get some stuff to be able to build a door and lock myself in here you know it's not gonna really solve much i'm probably gonna end up dying by just going out there in fact let me just let me see <laughs> we'll do this here we go uh oh we can fully zoom out okay i thought that would like mess up my camera thing um okay there is a pteranodon eating my face no 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 don't be a hero <laughs> oh my god what's wrong with you the hell's that on the ground what is that did i drop something i don't even remember um all right i'll check it out in a sec okay let me just put you in a passive what was that oh it's fiber okay yeah that uh that's not good oh he's coming back no oh he's hitting us through the wall like that is not fair you can't have wall hacks get okay i got him <laughs> he's like a wall mounted tratodon now oh my god are you seeing that that's amazing Look at him. <laughs> oh, that's what you get, bro. That is what you get. Oh, man. That is hilarious looking. Um, Yeah, this is terrifying. This is really, really scary. There's an Alpha Raptor eating those trikes down there. It's a good thing that they fight each other, at least, you know? That's that's definitely good. So, uh, the thing about it is, when the Blood Moon ends, all the Alpha creatures turn back to normal, which is great. I'm, I'm happy that that's a thing, because if that wasn't a thing... Oh boy, that would um, that would be the worst. All right, so we've probably got like five in-game hours until um, until the blood moon will go away. So I, I'm just gonna chill here, guys. Like, there's really no point in me leaving here. The mo is almost dead. I mean, I think I might just put you away. To be honest, you can heal inside your pokeball. There we go. Um, I don't want to go back over to my base because there's a Bronto right there. That thing's gonna aggro. It's gonna swing its tail once at the base. Everything's gonna break. So yeah, don't uh, don't want to do that. I'm gonna chill here with my uh, wall-mounted pteranodon. <laughs> it's so funny looking. In fact, you know what? I'm actually, if I die, I can probably just sit on the respawn screen instead of actually respawning. I'm just, I'm actually gonna just make a doorway here because I think we need it. We need a little safe room. I don't see anything coming from me right now, and if I if I die, like I said, it will be okay. Um, okay, let's go for this. Oh, there is a trike coming. Ooh. Oh, crap. All right, we're fine. I can avoid him. Um, I got an idea. Whoop. Okay. Come on, bro. Oh, crap. That was a bad idea. 
Fall off the cliff. Fall oh, there's a Bronto coming. Fall off the cliff, please. Fall off the cliff. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> ah! Why? Okay, we're fine. Everything's okay. Uh, Do we have enough to be able to make what I need? I'm going to have to drop this on the ground. Otherwise, I'm going to end up using some of that. I do not want to use that. Uh, let's see. All right. Want a fence foundation. Uh, let's get one of those. Uh, we want um, probably a double door. Oh, crap. Hello. Another well-mounted Toronto? Nope. Not yet. Uh, very, very soon, though. What? Really? Let me try that again. Let me hit you right in the middle. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we need bullet penetration on those bullets, please. Oh. Got him. No! Oh, he is well-mounted! Oh, it's even better! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love that so much. Um, okay, we gotta pick that up before bad things happen. Um, let's see. So, I got that. Let's see. Let's make that, and then I need two walls. I do not have enough for the walls yet, but we will. We will soon. Okay. Let's pop this down. Um, and just kind of get it, like, neat enough, I guess, if I can. It, that's probably as good as it's going to get. All right. <laughs> and that goes there. It's not great, actually. It's way off to one side. That's okay, though. I mean, like, I don't really care. We, we got it. Um, I need thatch, and then we're good. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is super terrifying, guys. Like, this mod is great, by the way. Like, honestly, if you want to challenge... <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that a power store? Okay, we're good. If you want to challenge again in PvE, you know... Install a mod like this. I hope this mod gets translated over to uh, Survival Ascended, because I definitely want this mod on my servers going forward. All right, let me actually drop that wood then. Uh, let's drop that. And then we need two walls. I think it was just two, right? I believe so. There we go. Cool. All right, we're already crafting the second one. Sweet. Boom, boom. Nice. Okay, we are completely locked inside of here. Maybe I should make a bed as well, actually. I can't because I don't have the fiber and I dropped that fiber earlier. That's okay. We've got we've got some stuff here. Let's uh let's go ahead and do this. By the way, I got a lot of comments about actually using a whip to pick up the carrots and stuff. That's uh definitely really smart. I I actually I mean like I knew that the whip did this, but like I just I don't know why. I keep forgetting the whip exists in Ark. I know lots of people use it on like official and stuff, but um yeah, I don't know why. I just like hardly ever use it. Uh, it's pretty nice though, because it's a reusable one on here as well. Um, let me drop that fungal wood bed. Get one of those. Sweet. There we go. We got a little safe house now. <laughs> awesome. Oh no! What is it breaking? Oh, that's probably just our fence, right? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Just make your, that's a 180. I, I'm, I'm taming you. Not, not today, but I'm totally taming you. You're just, you broke your way into my base. That's awesome. I love that. Please don't break anymore though. Really? Like, he just, like, broke his way straight in, and now he's just chilling. Oh, man. All right. Well, hopefully he's still going to be there when, uh, the... Dude, like, how... Where... What? No! Did you break all my stuff? Oh, that sucks! He broke everything! You dick! Oh, my God, dude. Really? Like, come on. I'm not even over there. I thought I was far enough away where it would be okay. I'm gonna try and kill this turd. Okay, I'm probably not gonna be able to do that. Maybe I'll, ah, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to lead them into the cave or something. I don't even know. This is, this is getting obnoxious. <laughs> oh man, okay. Um, yeah, that guy is probably okay. Like, what is this dude's problem? Like, he just, he killed Jim again. They, Jim keeps dying in my videos. <laughs> This is not fair for him. Um, all right, let's see. Actually, it reminds me. Uh, hopefully, I remember to put it onto the screen, but uh, check out this really cool artwork, actually. I really like that. I thought it was so funny, just like taking a moment and just drawing it from the videos. Uh, I always appreciate artwork, by the way. Like, if you want to do some fan art or something, like, I absolutely love that stuff. Um, I have a special spot in my Discord for it as well. Um, but yeah, oftentimes I'll make like fan art, my like profile picture in places as well. So. If you make something really cool, maybe uh, it could end up being my profile picture on social media or something. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, figured I should just uh, <laughs> I should point that one out. Um, yeah, so... 
this dude needs to die and then I, I gotta fix everything again like did he break the door I can't tell I think he just wall hacked Jim like that's not even fair dude like that's actually not fair this is why we need to live up there at least we might be somewhat safe but like holy crap though that's insane we'll just keep you guys around for the whole freaking blood moon I think because like wow yeah but uh that was not expected I was literally just gonna sit there in the in the room just silently but uh yeah no things are happening out here gyms are dying all sorts of bad things are happening there we go this is the second time my base has been destroyed as well <laughs> I even have spikes up it didn't even help like where the hell did that guy even come from like how did he get in here because <laughs> like this dude just like busted in like the freaking kool-aid guy like did that guy come with him <laughs> I don't even understand oh man all right let's uh let's get up that onto there let me also oh, that's not what i meant to do berry there we go there we go not betty uh all right cool let me um let me see if i can assess the damage a little bit without actually aggroing this dude over here because like i really want that power sword that's a freaking 180 i can't turn that thing down um those ones are oh he's breaking more okay yeah never mind i i compliment you and then you just destroy things okay it's a weird um weird reaction bro uh we still have our bed in here cool uh no no thingy here unfortunately i don't think i've seen that since the last time i don't know if jim's been grabbing it i have no idea like occasionally i'll see new loot and stuff in our little chests but um or i guess we don't have chests anymore it's just bags on the ground probably but uh yeah no um oh is he coming for me oh yeah he's totally coming for me yeah he is okay nope maybe not i don't even know what he's doing blood moon should end at 5 a.m i think so we're getting really really close yeah no he's just he's just being a dick <laughs> like bro like you're just griefing for no reason like what the hell did that spike fence do to you imagine that my base being destroyed by a pachyrhinosaurus and a parasaur <laughs> how embarrassing i'm glad this bronto hasn't realized that he can swing that big old thick tail of his and and just demolish my whole existence yeah i really want to check the damage in here okay well he just yeah he wall hacked jim look at that wait let's see yeah no he just like broke everything he killed Jim. Jim's just dead there. <laughs> I just, I love how I can see him and everything. That's great. Uh, okay, well, it doesn't look like he broke everything. Um, he broke some boxes. Uh, yeah, he broke some boxes there. He broke our forge, preserving bin. Uh, these are our little item boxes up here. And I think he might have broke the beds. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. No, things are happening over there. I don't know what the hell is happening. When is this blood moon going to end? I think at 5 a.m., hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, this dude needs to get tamed. We're taming that in the next episode, boys. <laughs> we didn't lose we didn't lose the MOA as well. This has been a good day besides all this, you know? It's been a good day. We got all these shoulder pets. Uh safe to say we're not taming up the um the what do you call them? <laughs> He's just really, bro? We're not taming up the um what do you call them? I can't even think. Uh the kibble creatures here today. There we go. My spike fence just killed him. That's dope. Love that. But uh yeah, so hopefully we can hopefully we can actually manage to do that another time i'm watching this blood moon like when's that gonna end is that not 5 a.m is it later is it half five i don't even know okay whatever bro i'm just i'm, I'm gonna hide in the cave honestly maybe we should just be living in here <laughs> now to be honest i actually haven't been building in here because well besides the bed because um i want uh i want this metal to stay because i don't actually know if there's a huge amount of metal nearby like this is our only spot that we know of and in fact, you know what? While I'm waiting, I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, Blood Moon's gone. I just noticed. I don't know what time that went away at. I gotta, I gotta check. Anyway, well, there we go, boys. <laughs> we, we did it. We, uh, <laughs> we're alive. We, we, we actually made it through my very first Blood Moon. Oh, man. Okay. In terms of like, you know, damage and everything, you know, pretty bad because like we, we, we lost some of the base here, but I didn't lose any teams, which is great. Um... Campfire is brokey. Let's see. Uh, any of this stuff damaged? He just looked wall hacked. I don't like. What the hell's the point? Like seriously, why did you have to do that? Look, Jim's just dead now. He's just dead, dead on the ground here. Look at him. He's got a freaking Bronto sound and everything. He's so OP. Um, uh, hopefully I'm not spoiling anything. All right. Well, great. Um, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna repair all this. Uh, guys, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead do me a favor, hit the like button. Um, I guess we're getting a 180 power score for the next episode. There it is. It's just chilling over there. We can hopefully try to get him at least. We're going to have to repair all of this first. And um, yeah, that is that's truly unfortunate.
but uh, at least at least I made it. At least I didn't lose my MOA, and that's the main thing. I did lose my gym though again. It's just not fair. All right. Well, anyway, catch you guys in the next one.